Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and I was CHU on uh, seven megahertz um, with my DX100, uh, a Radio Shack realistic DX100. Um, I just want to show you a quick video on how to connect the MLA30 loop antenna with a radio like this or any other tube radio that has these types of terminals. Let me turn this radio around so I can show you because I get questions on that all the time. Okay, so I'm just going to go over what I do. And let me uh, just put the tripod down over there. As you can see, this type of connectors are the uh, the screws. You just screw them in. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I do to connect these old radios to... Let me disconnect this right here for a second so I can show you. So this is an old speaker wire. Okay. And what I've done is I got in one... I use... Uh, you know, you can just put, you can strip the wire and just put it in there and try to screw it. But I find that method, it doesn't work well because it's sometimes the screw, uh, the wire just slips out. So I use these guys and these uh, uh, connectors. And what you do, you strip the wire. You strip it uh, about a, a little over a quarter of an inch, about half an inch. About a half an inch, okay. And you take this, you put it there, and you expose a little bit of it out, uh, just a little bit. Then you crimp it, okay. You can use a needle nose pliers or a crimping tool, something like this tool right here. This old uh, wire stripper crimper. But this one is old. This one is uh this one is uh, ready to be in uh, retired because I had this for over twenty years, and this is the crimper right here. But you can use a needle nose. This is also a wire cutter. Okay, um, I bought this a long time ago. This is uh, over twenty years now. It's made from Cronus. It's the brand Cronus. Okay, so that's how you use. What you do is you strip the wire, and you use this type of connector. Okay. Now, may make it easier to do that. Now, on the other end, I use a standoff. This guy, okay? Because he's going to take the other wire. You're going to screw one here. This is, a, uh, they call it a standoff. And this is a BNC connection, okay? And this is what I use to stand off. I'm going to put the links below on this stuff. And get these on Amazon. I bought a pair of them for like, I can't remember the price. I'll show you another one I have up here. Let me just bring this one down, put this one down. So this is how it looks like, okay? Stand off. And you loosen this up over here. Okay, the red and the black. And the same thing, you're going to strip the wire. And show you. I'll, I'll just show you on this end. Here. You're gonna strip the wire, right? And then you're gonna put it right. There's a small hole. You're gonna line it up in there. And you're gonna line it up in there. And then all you do is tighten this. Okay, you're gonna tighten it. And that's it. You see? Okay. And you can also use these ends too. Uh, you can like if you have banana plugs, you can just put them right in there. But I do it this way. Okay, so you have both of them, and one end is going to go here, and the other one is going to go there, and that's how you do this, okay? So that's how you hook up this guy, stand off to this, and this could be with any old radio, okay? Any old, any old tube radio that has these type of terminals, and let me get the, um, this part. And then now here's the MLA-30... And this end, BNC connector to uh, SMA to BNC. And you're just going to connect that here. Okay? You're going to connect it to this. Uh, and there you go. Now you're hooked up. You got your MLA-30 hooked up to um, 
the uh, old radio like a DX100 or any other uh, old radio that has these type of terminals, a uh, tube radio, uh, old old radios that have this type. I even have a boom box that has these type of terminals. Old boom box that has these type of terminals. So that's how you hook up uh, an MLA30 loop antenna or any other loop antenna or any other antenna to a connector like this. You need something like this, a standoff. And I know I'm going to get other uh, ideas. Uh, well, you can strip one in and put I'm not doing it. Just use a standoff. It makes it nice and clean. Okay. I use a standoff. I could have shortened the wires a little bit shorter. But I use this uh, quite a bit. I use it on other radios to set up. Uh, especially on my uh, older radio, my tube radios and so on. I use this setup a lot. Okay. So there you go. It's uh, all hooked up. The DX100 is all hooked up to my MLA30. That's how we do that. And uh, there you go. Working well. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put the links below on all these um, all these things. Standoff, these connectors you can buy a whole bag of them at any uh, auto place or you know Walmart. I'm gonna see if I can put a link on this. You know, maybe a whole bag of these because I have assorted ones. I have like these. You see all of these types. You know, some of them, I, most, some of them I got them from my old job when I, I did a lot of wiring. I used to work on the subway cars, so these are all ones that I picked up over the years when I done wiring. You know, see all the different connectors there, all the types of. But you can get those anywhere, uh, automotive store, uh, electronics, whatever. I'll see if I put a link below on on on, on these. And of course, the standoff and the crimping tool. You can use any other crimp. You can use a crimping tool like this, and basic household crimping tool will do. All right. So there you go. You like the video? Give it a thumbs up. And let me know what I, what you do. What, what what type of stuff? What what you know? Maybe I there's a more clever way of doing it. I don't know. Uh, let me know. All right. Uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.